Hello everyone, this is Godzilla Wolf 1, and I'm back with another episode of Equestrian Elemental Season 3! And, well, I found something else in Twilight Forest. If you remember last time, we defeated the Naga, and I got these really cool Naga scale leggings. Which are really good. Like, I think they're as good as Diamond, but with Protection 3 on them naturally, which is pretty cool. But I also found, in the meantime, between last episode and this episode, this place, which is a hollow hill, and I've already dug into it. I did go back to my house and put a few things away because I felt I would need to, and why do I still have an oak sapling on me? I need to do something about that. To get that out of my inventory here, because this is going to be a place where a lot of stuff is going to be found. Uh, I I'd say I don't need this dirt, but at the same time, I feel like if I throw the dirt away, I'm probably going to need to climb back out of there. And I'll bring this bread into my inventory and eat it if I need to, to open some space. But basically, if you don't know what a hollow hill is, it's basically a massive hill filled with treasure. That's basically what this is going to be. And basically what I do is I rush in here, I've already dug in and place some light so I could actually see what's going on. And basically what's going to happen is I'm going to jump down there and have to fight everything. This is not going to be fun. I should probably also put on my Envar chest plate because while the jump boost will probably be handy, it's not going to save me if I get attacked by everything. Now is the question of how to actually get down there and let's actually deal with the spider from up here. Uh, there's probably going to be a tiny bit of lag. Uh, okay... Yeah, there's going to be a bit of lag here. Okay, actually it was because I was sh holding shift when I did that, apparently. Okay, there's an Enderman, don't really need to care about him, that zombie, however... And another thing that's kind of um, worrying about this is there is most likely going to be a few... Um, and there's something with chain down there. There's probably going to be rare spawns down here, which could kill me. Okay, uh, now there's the question of how I actually get down here properly without killing myself. And one way I can think to do that is to put this down here into my inventory. Uh, the smite sword's going to be useful, so if I jump down here and push this down the moment I land, it should help soften the fall. Okay, I didn't do that right. And now everything is trying to kill me. Oh crud, this is not fun. I wish I had my scythe on me. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Oh dear! That that did not go well. That 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 really did not go well at all, did it? Uh okay then. Let's uh go back to my latest death point, I guess, and see if I can do any better. Oh, oh crud. Okay, this is actually really bad. Um there's a really powerful rare spawn in here. Uh, I think I should use this thing because it will actually kill these things a lot quicker. I have absolutely no idea what is going on. Now let's head in this way so I can actually get them back into a corner a little bit. Okay. Um, okay, this is not going to end well. Okay, that, that, that didn't end well. Uh, this is going to be harder than I expected. Because instantly I get jumped by rare spawns. Uh, I should probably put these sites down in my inventory. I did not plan to rush in there and die twice in a row. It just kind of happened and somehow I got a zombie head. Uh, zombie head. Let's put that down there to get out of my inventory so I can pick it up later. I don't really need the rotten flesh. Okay, I need to think about this. I should probably have my scythe down in my inventory, and I don't really need this egg, but why throw it out when I can just do this? Okay, I need my scythe because this is going to be useful. Let's have that in my hand, and... 
teleport back to my death point where I'm probably going to be attacked by everything. Now, on the bright side, having the scythe in my hand means that I can actually hit everything while I'm being mauled and I killed something. Okay, and, uh... Okay, I killed something there. Uh, let's see. Okay, did that take everything out? Okay, no, it didn't. Okay, finally I got rid of everything. Oh, dang it, you stupid slime beetle thing. Okay, let's... Oh, oh crud. And... Uh, let's put down a torch! And eat, and eat, and, uh, I don't think I need the golden apple yet. Okay, oh crud, I hate these slime beetles. Okay, can I kill this thing at a distance? Okay, where are you, slime beetle? Okay, I got you, and let's just run around, uh, placing down torches for a moment. Okay, I, I, uh, that, that did not go as planned. I think everything, I, I somehow killed everything. Okay, uh, that was not as I expected at all, and apparently I just ticked off an Enderman. So let's hide under this, because everyone knows an Enderman cannot get you if you hide under a, a block like this, and move that salad into my hand. Okay, I, I swear I did not intend to Leroy Jenkins that as much as I did. Okay, uh, I don't see anything because I must have... Oh, that scythe. Um, I must have killed a lot of it with my scythe. Die, 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 die. Okay, uh, well, we survived long enough to actually clear out enough stuff that I can actually... Oop, uh, let's get close to you with the smite sword. This smite sword is going to be a lifesaver in here, isn't it? Isn't it? And a red cap. Why am I using that against you? Okay, die. You know, there's spawners in this place. Uh, okay, there's actually a spawner right there, isn't there? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Stop, stop being as, stop lagging. Okay, there we go. I should probably deal with this spawner before more stuff keeps spawning. Okay, uh... Let's eat. Okay, that was a lot more hectic than I expected. I apologize for how hectic that was. Uh, let's light up this spawner. I actually don't want to k destroy the spawners, necessarily. Okay, uh, there's Endermen everywhere. Die, 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 die. Oh, I, I ticked off an Enderman. I apparently ticked off an Enderman there. Okay, I got... Uh, crud. That's the problem with Wither is when you're withered, you cannot see things- and I'm sorry I keep dying in this place, I did not intend to do so. Okay, buddy. Oh, you're just a normal skeleton. Okay, I'm gonna check the chests after I'm done clearing this place out. I think I should just probably run around setting down torches everywhere I see a dark spot. That will probably save my life a bit down here. Die, spider, die. Okay, I apologize for the hecticness and repeated deaths. I knew these places could get crazy. I did not expect them to be that crazy. Then we can actually see what the heck options we've got down here. Okay, there's where the red caps are coming from. Okay, I've somehow got this in my inventory now. So let's just destroy that. Because I think this is, um, okay, I can actually kill you with something normal, I guess. Uh... <sighs> oh, sp cave spider. Okay, cave spider spawner. I really need to deal with that really quickly.
Okay, uh... Okay, come on, little red cap. I know you're right there. Where are you? Okay, I guess I'm going to eat and hopefully regen a little bit. I'm surprised that didn't kill me. Stop running! Uh, and some lag, but that's kind of be expected. Okay! I destroyed the cave spider spawner. I didn't destroy the red cap spawner, I don't think. Uh, let's regen a tiny bit. Oh dear! Okay, a uh, tiny swarm spider, which are extremely weak. Where are those guys coming from? Okay, you wanna go? Okay, come on, pal. I hate it when Endermen make that noise for no apparent reason. Okay, let's go get take care of that spawner before it keeps rec messing with my day. Uh, let's do this, and then go over here and destroy the spawner. And then kill that straggler right there that's still here. I don't even know what these guys are supposed to be. I think there's some sort of elf, maybe? I don't... I don't know what the intention is with these things. Looks like there's something else down there, and is he down there? Yes, he is. And, of course, something would knock me down here. Why is everything suddenly in this hole? Like, seriously, why? Okay, let's light up the hole. That might be a good idea. That will make me live longer. Okay. Uh, I don't... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh... Okay, uh, apparently I could have gotten in here from the outside the entire time. Oh, well, that's kind of irritating. In fact, why am I going back in here when I could just go outside here and actually regen some health? Okay, uh, once more, I did not expect this place to be as chaotic as it actually was. Th this place was really, really chaotic. Uh, okay, let's... Uh, why? Okay, uh, let's do this. I don't know why I wasn't doing that. Uh, let's get this out. Okay, there's a uh, chest. I'm going to check that afterwards. Ah, there you uh, Come on, pal. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah, there, I know the lag is making this a little uneasy. I don't know why there's so much lag, except maybe the fact that I did not walk back here. And now what's attacking me from behind? Dang it. And apparently a creeper exploded behind me. I thought I took care of your spawner, Skelly. And there's a slime beetle. Can I hit it from over here? Apparently not, but I can light this up so there's less room for them to spawn in. There, got you. They're better marksmen than you, apparently. Though, then again, skeletons aren't notoriously accurate, are they? Okay, well, there's plenty of coal here, so... Yeah, after I clear this place out a little more... Okay, uh, let's see. Can I get to you this way? Okay, that got care of that. Uh, I think that there's... Uh, 
Okay, hello, Skelly. Come here. Gotcha. Okay, I'm sorry if I haven't talked as much as I normally do. Hello, Creeper. Because I was trying very, very hard not to die. Okay, so have I handled everything? Uh, no, because there's still, uh, stuff over here, a uh, surprisingly large amount of stuff. What the heck is going on? Okay, uh, apparently a rare spawn caused a glitch there. And now I'm out of torches, but, oh, what the heck is going on now? Okay, uh, let's hide back here and eat up some of this. Okay, and I'm sorry if I'm not talking as much as I normally would, because I am trying very hard not to die. Okay, so there's a rare spawn one of these. Thankfully, I think he's caught down there and can't actually get at me. Something else apparently can. I don't know what's shooting at me, though it seems to be doing a good job of killing me. Okay, rare spawn, uh, cobalt, apparently. I hate the cloaking rare spawns. Okay. Come here, pal. Okay. Uh, the thing is, I don't. I did. I actually kill that cobalt. That could have very well happened. Okay, come on, pals. Come on. See what a scythe can do. Oh, no, you're not getting away. Okay, there's still a rare spawn around here. Oh, there he is. Okay. Where is he? Okay, this is really making me a, a little paranoid. Uh, okay, I can take this torch here at least. And put it somewhere more needed. So, right there seems a bit better of a, a place. Uh, what's this? Shiny ore, that can be useful. Okay, I think I've actually cleared out enough of this place to actually start looking... Ooh, glowstone! Actually, that's going to be very useful. And a ton of gold. Ooh, is that emerald there, or is that something else? Oh, that is emerald. So there might actually be diamond here. Okay, is that diamond, or is that quartz of some sort? Okay, I'm actually going to have to explore this place and see what I can find. Ooh, there's some iron. A peacock feather fan, which might be useful. Uh, I should probably just eat this bowl and throw it out. That'd be a good idea. Uh, where did it go? Okay, uh, or a magnet, that can be useful. I might not need those ladders to get out of here, but, yeah, I can get rid of this. Uh, there's plenty of cobblestone around me, so I'll just use that. Uh, I can come back for these carrots later. Well, actually, I can just get those out of here. Don't really need the string. I don't need two crafting tables, I don't think. I don't need the skulls. I don't really need the arrows, so okay. I need that baked potato. So let's start raiding the chest. Lots of iron. I, ooh, and a Naga scale, which means I don't have enough to make something else, but that means they can be found in here. Ooh, uh, creeper, creeper. Stay back. Ooh, emeralds. I don't really need the emeralds for much, but it's going to be useful. Can those stack? No, they can't, so why 
keep two of them. Okay, I think there's more over here, but... Question is, is there a spawner over here? No, it does not look like there is. Okay, so let's look around here a little bit more. Then I think I'm go and I'm sorry if I was a bit unusually quiet. I was in trying not to die mode. So yeah, that that's exactly why. So yeah, I think I've cleared this place out fairly well. It was a bit more difficult than I expected it to be because this didn't seem to be the big type of dungeon. Oh. Okay, a uh, rare spawn of you. What'd you drop? Uh, protection 2, is that? Well, it's actually, uh... It's probably a bit better of an idea than what I have on. Okay, I think... Well, actually, now that I've got this out, I can shatter this and get the torches back. Uh, let's see, what have I got on me that I can get some health back or something. Yeah, I'll just throw out a piece of mushroom soup because it's literally infinite. And the torches are probably a little more important. This way I can actually light up the... Oh, crud. How many of you guys are there? Okay, I'm actually going to have to examine this place and get back to you on what I find. Hello, weird random cobalt. A pyro beetle! I, I knew those things were in here! Let's see, have I been in this chest? Yes, that's the one where I dumped all my junk. I looked through this one. Okay, yeah, I'll be back when I f um, look through this place and find everything, because, well, it's just gonna be a bunch of mining ore. So, see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I finished up um, raiding that hollowed hill. Eh, well, not finished up, there's still a lot in there, but there was also a lot of monsters, and well, I was kind of running out of inventory space. But I did end up walking away with almost a full stack of gold, and there's still more down there that I will get later. However, there is also one other cool thing that I found, is this uncrafting table. Now, this is actually a good find, because if I'm not mistaken, on crafting table, which apparently there's a few other things you can make out of it, but normally you need a maze map focus, which are not necessarily easy to come by, because they're, well, you more will need them to actually make a map of the Minotaur mazes, which is, yeah, probably a better use for them. But basically what this does is save this invar, which may or may not be of a, useful for that. If I wanted to, I could trade this invar using seven levels and get, um, well, six invar back. So basically, this is a good way to basically recycle stuff that, say, my, uh, what was it called? The smeltery itself could not get rid of for me. So this is actually a very useful find, and I'm glad that I found it. And uh, apparently there's a monster, a very rare spawn in there. Alright, so that was just raiding a hollowed hill, which took a lot longer than I wanted it to, but... I think between this episode and next, I'll do some preparation, and next episode we will be going after the Lynch's... The Lich's Castle, which is next on the list. See you guys next time! This has been Godzilla Wolf 1, like, comment, and subscribe! Bye! I still don't have a catchphrase.